<laughs> uh, let me just kick this off and uh, thank you all for being here, first of all. And uh, I want to thank uh, Secretary Purdue for coming to Arkansas twice now. And uh, this has been uh, uh, really a, a great opportunity for our Arkansas producers to talk about issues that are important. I think the themes that uh, predominated in the discussion was one trade and how important uh, the trade agreements are to uh, our Arkansas producers because we're great producers and that export market is very important to us. Uh, the reduction in regulations that we've seen in this administration. Uh, and then thirdly, conservation uh, was a part of the conversation as well. So uh, great diversity of uh, our agriculture was represented in the room today. And I just want to express my appreciation to Secretary Purdue for being here today, listening to Arkansas Ag agricultural uh, producers and for the attention he's given this the leadership he's providing for us with that secretary Purdue thank you governor you'll be congratulated obviously downstairs talking about the economic development in agriculture with uh, both textiles and uh, pulp and paper so I know that you're attuned to uh, how much trade has to do with agriculture so I'm glad to be back in your state and I appreciate you hosting us today questions yeah, we wanted to ask you about uh, uh, each of these on a possible government shutdown and how it may impact your agency. And also, you have uh, uh, had some issues with your nominees before Congress. How, mm -hmm. how is that going? That process? I think you have three three nominees right now that right. before Congress. We're, we're certainly hopeful that uh, Congress is able to come to a satisfactory conclusion prior to uh, tonight. Uh, I know there's discussion still going ongoing. Uh, the House obviously passed the uh, extension for the continuing resolution. Uh, I think the Senate is in debate and discussion right now. We're hopeful there, but we have to plan for contingency. As you may know, the American people may know that there's a prohibition against federal employees working after there's a shutdown. And so that's fairly disruptive. We've got some people exempted for uh, those necessary fundamental uh, uh, life and health type of issues that we've identified. And we're communicating to our staff to uh, to do that. So uh, hopefully that won't have to be implemented. But we're prepared if we if we must do that. If we if it happens, we hope it ends very quickly and we get back to work. A lot of a lot of things need to be done. Uh, we are in need of uh, nominees. The president's nominated some very good people. Uh, one person in particular that affects farmers all across the country is Bill Northy, who's the commissioner of agriculture in Iowa, who we've. Uh, the president's nominated to be uh, our FPAC, our food, uh, Farm Production and Conservation Undersecretary, who would deal with the local FSA offices and NRC, NRCS offices. So we need to get him confirmed very quickly. We've got uh, other uh, areas of the Forest Service, food safety, and, uh, and other areas that are research and education that are very, very important to us. We need our leadership. We're less, less than half confirmed now. Secretary, something that didn't come up downstairs was the issue of dicamba. Yes. I wanted to know your thoughts on the controversial herbicide <clears throat> and um, states like Arkansas's push to start banning it. You know, I was a little surprised that it didn't come up, obviously, because it's a big issue here in Arkansas and across many parts of the Mid-South uh, in that area. It is uh, obviously controversial with strongly held beliefs on both sides. Uh, I, I guess the reason it didn't come up because uh, uh, most farmers would rather have solutions at home rather than Washington, D.C. And uh, while uh, I think that's the appropriate place for it to be managed on a statewide, statewide basis, as well as industry and among, uh, among farmers themselves, I'm aware of the, uh, the sad tragedy that happened here uh, regarding that. But uh, uh, having been in that business, I understand the, uh, uh, the great help that uh, crop protection chemicals can be, but also unfortunately can do harm. We've got to be better about our application. We've got to be better about uh, how we do things. And I think if we, when the industry uh, demonstrates uh, the ability to do that in a way that uh, doesn't bring harm, then I think Arkansas will be willing to look at that in a way of relaxation. Would you ever see, or do you expect anything federally to eventually come down about it? I don't right now. Obviously, we haven't been asked to join that or, or arbitrate or uh, or mediate in any kind of way that way and frankly I think that's best I think these are decisions that are frankly done better locally the more localized because uh, every every different farming area and farming culture has somewhat unique characteristics and uh, uh, 
It looked like the dicamba issue hit Arkansas particularly hard. Other states had been affected, but uh, didn't have the, uh, the number of complaints that were registered here in Arkansas. I think the governor and the legislature uh, felt like they, uh, they had to take some action. <coughs> and uh, I understood that, I, I understand that action's been affirmed. And while it may seem to be uh, difficult for some people who felt like they were using the chemical in a, in a proper way, I know that the volatilization capacity is uh, is there, and we have to be very mindful of that. You heard quite a bit from, and our governor has been really outspoken about about NAFTA and that's mm -hmm. the issues. And you heard from the producers yeah. and farmers mm -hmm. out there. What what message will you when you go back to and, and have a meeting with the president and, and administration officials? What message will you take back to the president? Well, it's kind of the same message we've been singing. It's the fourth verse of Just As I Am. And, uh, <laughs> and that is that NAFTA is very important to American agriculture. And obviously, through the Mid-South here, we know that the Mexican market uh, takes a lot of rice and takes a lot of uh, cotton and, and pork and other things. And uh, you heard down there, and it's accurate, that Canada and Mexico uh, revolve between number one and number two export from Arkansas farmers. So uh, the president, I think, is hearing that universally, and I think he is uh, uh, taking that in consideration of what it means. His responsibility obviously covers the whole economy, U.S. economy, and that's the balance part. When you look at, from his perspective, the balance of trade uh, having uh, gone up so much between U.S. and Mexico, we've become one consumer part there where other people have gone to manufacture things to sell in this market, and he believes, as I do, that's got to be right-sized and modernized. So uh, uh, farmers are going to do the best things they can. I believe American farmers are Americans first and farmers second, and we're going to do what it takes to, uh, to support the president in a, in a fair and, and, uh, and free trade atmosphere with NAFTA. Governor, one comment uh, on the Dicamba going through. Uh, <clears throat> The important thing to remember is that uh, I directed a process to be set up. Uh, I created uh, through our Secretary of Agriculture and the Plant Board a task force that was had all the representatives from industry, uh, farmers, producers uh, involved in it, uh, and the task force came up with a recommendation, and that was even uh, moderated by the uh, with the Rockefeller Institute, uh, and so. It was a very thorough process that came with the recommendation. The plant board accepted that recommendation and uh, made their determination. And once you go through that process, it's hard to sink it, guess it. And, it's in, and what we've always emphasized is that you need to listen to all sides. You need to follow the science in this. And then I think it's important now that we've got that set, the regulation is set, that we continue to accelerate the research uh, we try to work with all the parties to see if there's some options to utilize that technology in farming. And so we'll see where it goes, but uh, uh, that regulation is set for the time being. It's based upon the process that we set up. Okay. Well, we're, we're trained here when there's a three-second pause. So thank you all. <laughs> thank you all very much. Thank you, sir.